Hello, my Aries. This is your February reading for 2022, okay? Aries. What does my Aries need to know? February. All right, my Aries, you guys, first off, you are doing some soul healing, uh, maybe some kind of healing. Um, it could be physical healing, but you are doing some healing this month, okay? Um, hold on here. I've got some cards to go. Okay. You guys got a lot of people around you. More people are coming into your life at this time in your in this month. Um, but see, here is this card. This card represents soul healing or soul cleansing. Okay. And then you have this. This to me represents um, other people that are coming into your life, um, being around you. There are going to be a little bit more people. Um, at this time and then you have this to me this represents she's trying to organize her thoughts and putting things into place but this also represents a message coming towards you okay so you have a message coming towards you and then you have this and this represents um, organizing some more trying to organize um, so I feel like right now um, you have this organization within your mind trying to organize things and this is physically organizing things maybe in your home or your office your spaces um, you might be doing a little bit of organization um, and then you also have this and this represents starting something new um, it can be fertility but it also could represent she is just about to birth something into her life um, and then you have this, and this is like, the, this is the tower card, and everybody gets scared of the tower card. They think that it is um, very scary, which it is kind of, but this card represents things that are changing, and it changes really quickly, okay? Um, but this is about um, changing from... I see this is an old gray tower, but this tower has to come down sometimes. Sometimes the tower lives have to change to create something better for us. And right now, you might have something that is going on that is a really big change, okay? Um, and then you have this, though. This is about stability. So you do have stability, although you feel like you don't. Maybe because of this, whatever it is, but this is stability, home, happy home life. This is about money as well. And then you have um, this, and this is the Nine of Pentacles. And to me, this is about she's very stable, they're happy, um, but she's able to stand on her own. She doesn't need other people's help um, to help her stand. And then we have this, and this is about signing legal documents, signing uh, something maybe uh, that has to do with legal um, papers. It can be court, but it is about making a final decision is what it truly is about, making that final decision, rather if it is um, within your home or within you, um, but it is about saying, you know, I'm done with this, or yes, I'm definitely going to do that. And then you have this card, and this represents um, intuitive uh, energy. So it also is you connecting to your intuition, um, but it also is about learning spiritual beliefs. Um, and it also is maybe that you're manifesting. So sometimes whenever we think or we speak, make sure that it is positive to bring that positive energy into your life at this time okay because what you put out into the universe will come back to you all right 
now let's do love, okay? What does my Aries need to know about love for the month of February 2022? Aries 2022. Love, love. What does love, Aries, need to know for love? Alright, so for some of you, I feel like you're getting ready to get a message that's going to make you feel um, very uncomfortable about your love situation. Um, I feel like you're just going to have um, maybe something change this month with your love, okay? But I feel like there's something that's coming to you. But I feel like you're going to know before it is told to you. Um, but I also feel like at this time um, that you have this, <clears throat> you have this card that represents something, birthing something new. Um, so I feel like maybe you have had a bad fallout in your past for some of you, and now things are starting to look up to you, for you and starting to change for you. Um, but you might have a disagreement this month with your lover. Um, if you are in a relationship, a disagreement. I do see that here, um, and then you have this, and this represents how, it's kind of like having this, to me this is about having an attitude of, you know what, I really don't care what you think or what you say, but I am going to do what I want for me, and I, um, it's like she appreciates who she is. Um, and then you have this person here, and I don't know if this is you or someone else, but this is uh, someone who is very stable in life, uh, maybe that you feel a little secure with um, or around, okay? Um, and then you have this, and this is about feeling depressed or be feeling um, a little tied down to a certain situation. Um, whenever you get into this argument, when you have this disagreement with someone, understand that a lot of times um, having a disagreement can just be um, something that you need to be work. It's like sometimes we just need to listen to the other person instead of trying to have them understand what you're saying because at the time maybe they can't understand and they don't want to understand. So it's easier to just listen at that time to this disagreement than to um, to disagree, I mean to argue, you know. Um, and then I feel like you have uh, a lot of people kind of interfering maybe into your, your social or your personal life instead of um, social, but it's more about that personal life because this is your love. you got too many people interfering, interfering with it. Um, but then you do have the sun card. The sun card is fabulous. Sun card represents happiness, joy. It can be fertility and it can be marriage as well. Um, so I feel like although you feel a little tied down at this time, you also have this um, ability at the end of the month. I feel like you're going to feel that happiness and joy um, at the end of the month, okay? But for the most part, I feel like you guys are um, going to have to learn how to um, connect to this other person, that, this argument, okay? This argument is about learning um, and listening instead of trying to get them to understand you. And this might bring you into a sadness, depression, you know, a worry, feeling tied down kind of feeling. But in the end, at the end of the month, you are going to have the sun card, which represents joy, happiness, and like I said, for some, it could be fertility or marriage as well, okay? All right, Aries, thank you for coming to watch your video, and I hope to see you next time. All right, deuces.